It's springtime here in uh, beautiful Colorado, and we're just starting our field season. And um, I'm standing in front of some Mesa Verde group outcrops. These are Cretaceous in age, deposited along the western interior Cretaceous Seaway in the U.S. And if you look down here, I want you to focus on how gradational the contacts are between shale and the fine sandstone. And that's because the stuff is super bioturbated. If you're familiar with the bioturbation index, we're looking at about a three here. As you move higher though in the section, we do see some sedimentary structures. Okay, what I want you to focus on is this right here. Okay, you can see this little part right there. And uh, what that is, is swaley cross stratification. Basically what happens is, you can see some ripples right there in this section as well. And uh, basically what happens is, whenever we have a storm, storm waves, once they hit the sea bottom, they create these undulating bed forms. So once the storm is over, the seafloor has a series of humps and depressions. Those depressions we call swales and the humps are known as hummocks. So the cross-sectional view of the hummocks gives us hummocky cross-ratification and those depressions, the swales, gives us swaley cross-ratification. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move along the succession. We're going to walk it out. I'm going to show you some more stuff here, which is pretty cool. What we have here are some vertical burrows. Okay. If you don't see the vertical burrow, let me point that out to you. That right there is one of these vertical burrows. And uh, that one right there is Scolithos. Okay. And Scolithos usually occurs where you have moving sandy substrates. And we're going to keep on moving because I've got a really nice example of one of these undulating bed forms for you. This is a block that's just been broken off and you can see that. You can see that preserved almost in 3D. So you see the depression, okay? So that depression you see almost looks like a mini syncline. That is a swale and if I move the camera around we'll go to the bump right here and that bump that is a hummock so that is what the seafloor looks like after a storm has gone through so what's the significance for oil and gas well the significance is first of all it tells you you're on the shelf okay so you're within storm wave base and uh, these hummocks and swales that start occurring at the bottom of the lower shore face and they'll continue into the middle shore face. These are probably middle shore face deposits just because of the ratio of sand with shale. I will make a video in which I'll show you completely isolated hummocks, sand hummocks in shale and that would be that would be something you'd find in uh, in the lower shore face. And then this is probably the reason we came here is because this is probably the best example of a preserved hummock that I've ever seen. Right, so this is one of those bumps on the sea floor. Okay, and uh, that's a textbook example of a hummock. So again, the sand shale ratio, the presence of the vertical burrows tells us we're probably in the middle shore phase. Now, if this stuff was completely blocky, it was completely blocky, there would be almost no shale intercalations and we start getting into cross, trough cross beds then we would probably be in the upper shore face, but we're not quite there yet. The cool thing is you can see these in core and you can also see these in borehole image logs and they'll help you diagnose, diagnose exactly where you're at along a shelf transect. 